Yes lads, what is going on guys and welcome back to another objectives video. EA have gone ahead and given us another Future Stars objective and this time it is going to be the man himself. Highly requested, Fafana. Fafana, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know down below if you're a Leicester fan or you're a French or you just in general know how to pronounce his name. But honestly, EA, thank you guys very much because we have been wanting this card for so long. Uh, there's obviously been a lot of rumors around this card as well. So thank you so much, EA. But like I said, boys, uh, a little bit of an objectives guide giving you my tips and tricks on how to complete him fast. You guys seem to love these videos. Uh, the Reina objectives have gone down absolutely class, like 13,000 views, something like that. So all I can say is thank you guys so much for that support. So like I said, we're going to go over all of these and try to go over them quickly. Um, also, boys, as well, there will be the whole like copy and pasted thing uh, of all of these objectives in the description. So if you want to know the objectives, uh, you can just have a look. They should all be in the description. Maybe not straight away when it's uploaded, but in a certain amount of time hopefully not long but i'll all be in the description uh also if you have any other tips down below i'll heart your comment pin your comment just to help as much people out as we can because that is that what we're all about starting off boys once again it's another of these 12 set uh yeah it, it takes 12 sets similar to reina similar to Gukurala. uh so boys this is like i said gonna be a grind let's get into it oh boys starting off score four goals using fringe players and the thing is that's in any any game mode you can use any fringe player in any game mode even if you want to you can just play squad battles on beginner difficulty and you will unlock a 78 rated fafana then with that assist two goals using the 78 future stars fafana which once again you want to be using most likely beginner squad battles and with the center back card he's got really poor shooting his passing's average his dribbling's average obviously it's only 78 rated but you need to assist goals with him honestly what i'll do is just chuck him a beginner squad battles and chuck him at striker or chuck him at left mid left cam whatever just to get him those assists because even on a beginner level uh, squad battles match doesn't matter where he plays the ai is so easy to score against and like i said one tip i'll always give with these squad battles is you can keep refreshing uh the, the squads until you get those lower rated uh, squad options so as easy as that and in return you get a 75 rated plus pick or a plus player which is actually quite good because you get some packs in return but very bad packs but if you get all of these this is what 10 rare players 1075 plus packs you never know i mean i've once got a couple walk out out of these so you never know win three matches with 78 future stars for fana and at least four french players in your starting squad so i can already see the direction you will be wanting to go is probably a french based squad concede no more than one goal in four separate matches with 78 overall future stars for fana in your starting squad and then you will go ahead and earn yourself 82 rated so the next level one now one tip i can say where i've had lots some people in my Rainer objectives ask what does that mean or what does concede mean concede no more than one goal the amount of goals that are scored against you so if you win 4-1 you're fine because you've only had one scored against you if you win 4-2 then it won't count because your opponent scored two goals they can only score at maximum one against you so like i said squad battles beginner is where you're really going to be wanting to work towards these you can get these four objectives done in these four separate matches because whilst you're playing hopefully conceding no more than one goal in the four matches you can obviously get the win three matches done and give it assist two goals and you can get the score goals with french players done like i said you'd want to be building a french based team to really get the whole french objective theme over with now once you have got the 82 overall future stars for fana you've got the score three goals using 82 overall future stars for fana which is odd by ea because you're using a center back um, i think maybe they haven't really thought this one through because uh, you've got, a, no, actually no, I take that back, he's actually a CDM, okay, fair play EA, but I've given his 82 rated card as a CDM, that is solid, so you get the CDM card and you've just got to score three goals with him, which once again, squad battles, beginner difficulty, you can get that done within one match, and then assist four goals using 82 overall future stars for fun in the foot friendly managerial masterpiece, now this is where you have to go into the online modes so you can get the first five objectives done in squad battles beginner difficulty and it will take roughly five games and then like i said this is where you got to go into the online friendly mode managerial masterpiece you've got to assist four goals using 82 overall future stars for fana then climbing the ranks assist using 82 overall future stars for fana in six separate matches in the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece this is once again just going to be time consuming, it's going to be a grind online, 
six separate matches, well, at least six matches, and the thing is, you got to assist with them as well. It is going to be very sweaty, and if you guys don't know, uh, it is skill-based matchmaking, so depending on your division rival's rank is what the your opponent or the opponent you'll be facing. If you're in Division 1, you'll most likely be facing another Division 1 player in the managerial master play, uh, masterpiece mode. If you're in a lower division, whether it's Division 8, Division 9, then you'll be facing players around that same difficulty, which, as a Division 1 player, or if you are in Division 1, it can get annoying because each game is going to be a sweet fest. Maybe if you're around Division 5, Division 6, that's perfectly fine because it'll just kind of be like playing a Division Rivals match. It's going to be sweaty, but at the end of the day, you do walk away with a solid centre pack. So it's just, do you want to put that grind in? Now, win six matches in a live foot friendly managerial masterpiece, which once again, you can, actually I was going to say you can get them done at the same time. But with this one, after assisting in six separate matches, then you proceed to get the 84 rated. Then you have to win six matches with that 84 overall. Boys, now we've got score eight goals using Premier League players in the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. So you'd easily be wanting to build just a, a little mini Premier League team around this Future Stars for Fana. Now we have got assist three goals using 84 overall Future Stars for Fana in the Life Foot Friendly Managerial Masterpiece. Score in 16 separate matches using French players in the Life Foot Friendly uh, with 84 overall Future Stars for Fana in your starting squad. So you just can score with any player, just make sure he is in that starting squad. And the last one is play 25 games with Fafana in your starting squad. So this play 25 games obviously will come, and you'll, you'll, you'll get it over time whilst you're doing all these uh, objectives. So what I would say is with these first four objectives, yeah, with these first five objectives, um, you literally beginner squad battles, probably play off chem CDM Fafana um, up front, and you can score three goals using him. So if you were to use him as a striker, play him out of position, uh, then you can just put him at striker, beginner squad battles, give it assists, two goals with 78 future stars for Fana. Also, you can get these first five done on beginner squad battles, and then the last five in managerial masterpiece, you want to be using a Premier League based squad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little squad for the managerial masterpiece, which I know will be effective. Whether you use it, whether you don't, it's up to you. But for these, the squad battles, like I said, the first five objectives, just look at the slow rated team. 64 rating, put it, chuck it on beginner. There's no rating cap or uh, difficulty cap. So you can do beginner. It'll be so, so easy. If you're attacking intelligence, reaction speed is so slow. So you can get all these objectives done fast. Then if you want to keep refreshing to make sure you have got a low rated opponent, you can just press uh, square and then you can refresh and you get up to six refreshes or up to 10 refreshes before the points stop counting you can go beyond that just the points won't count towards your overall squad battles ranking now boys the friendlies of managerial masterpiece which is where you're going to have to grind which is the main point this is why you're all here you need a max rating of 77 you can have no bronze players and you can have at most three silver players like i said let's build a little premier league based team around them so boys, this is a team we have come up with. This would be a perfect fit, fit for Managerial Masterpiece. It's a very meta team, probably one of the best Managerial Masterpiece Premier League teams that does get the rating required to actually get in. We've pushed the rating to the max. We can probably get maybe an up to an 81 rated card on the bench and that's probably it. But starting off, boys, we have got Rodrigo and Jesus paired up up front. Both two extremely meta cards. Rodrigo, from the beginning of the game, you guys will know is overpowered. Gabriel has Zeus as well, absolutely overpowered. At left mid, we have got an 87 pace. He's got some nice agility, some nice balance. Very meta card. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. And then we have got Oxlade Chamberlain. Very nice gold rear card. Relatively low rated. Gets that chemistry perfectly, and he is relatively cheap. We do have Gidson Fernandez for Tottenham Hotspur. Honestly, I don't even think he starts for Spurs, but it's a very nice card to get. I don't know how much he's going for, but all I know is he's most likely going to be cheap. Probably 2,000 coins maximum, but I mean, just a very good, well-rounded card. And now, lads, you want no silver cards in your squad because you want to get the rating down. You can have a maximum of three silver players. So the silver players I've come up with is this right wing from Leeds. He is two, born in 2001. It's only 68 rated. His 
his shooting and passing is shocking, but he's got some 91 agility and he is rapid, which is all that matters for that right mid spot. Then at right back, another silver card, chuck a shadow on him. I would recommend lads using these uh, chemistry styles on all your players because it will literally make them feel so much better in game. Put a shadow on him, 87 pace, like 75 defending for a silver right back is not bad. And now another very big vouch for this dude. I used him in some silver beast objectives and he is in incredible once again with a shadow he goes to 88 pace in game and some really nice shooting he's like 1000 coins as well like it so i actually want to buy his man united version um which is still 1800 be careful of his a derby version you don't want to accidentally buy him but 1500 coins for this card with a shadow would be exceptional in goal you can have any low rated goalie in the prem we've just gone willie caballero who he's, he's gonna be shit He's going to be insane. No one between goalies are inconsistent, especially a 75 rated. Then obviously you've got Fafana, who perfect fit because, I mean, obviously an 84 rated card. If you only have his 82 rated card, play him over Ox and you can get maybe another meta nice centre back in there. And then Tierney, who I've just got in the club. Um, obviously you're not going to want to go ahead and buy him because he's like 30k. He's quite pricey, isn't he? He's probably even more. What? Oh, wow, he's like 70k. So you can use any Premier League left back that's 82 rated. I'm just using him because he's in my club. So you can use any 82 rated left back. I'll probably recommend maybe a Regulian, Regulian from Tottenham Hotspur. Spanish left back. You'd maybe want to get him in. But overall, boys... This is a, like the base team you want to use. You don't have to copy this exact team. This team right here is probably coming in at around, disregarding TNE, I'd say probably around 15 to 20,000 coins, but it does speed up the process so much. Now, the one tip I can say, like I said, is do the first five squad battle challenges on beginner difficulty. Get a, probably a full fringe team. For Fona, play him up front so he can give the assists, he can get the goals. Then at that stage, you have an 82 overall for Fana. You then move in to the uh, managerial masterpiece mode where you can build a 77 rated max. Uh, max rating team which you can probably do it like this um, and obviously for Fana, I believe his 82 overall is a CDM so you'd want to play a CDM card up here and obviously get another center back in but with these the only tips I can give is you need to get assists with them I believe so this is where you'd probably want to message your opponent say hey mate I'll get free assists you get free assists play on from there but overall boys it's just going to be a sweet fest and like i said the one tip i can give other than messaging your opponent is chemistry styles so important an 82 raiders striker rodrigo if you were to chuck a finisher chemistry style on him in game he goes to like an 87 rated striker so keep that in mind boys chemistry styles will help out significantly a dead eye on him a shadow on him a shadow on him uh on Fafano, you can use whatever you want willie cavaliero probably keep it the same uh this dude you'd probably want to chuck a dead eye on him get his shooting and passing up these two lads up here probably a finisher on rodrigo and maybe a hawk chemistry style on Gabriel Jesus, but you guys get the gist of it, lads, let me know down below if you have any other tips whatsoever, it's been your boy Davis, happy grinding, good luck, and until next time, I'll see you later.